a dispatch rider who um, they allegedly caught a little child in his in this buck, the the, the back the box, box that he carries, and then this 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 child was found and I think they arrested the, I'm not even sure if they arrested him because I saw the, them carrying the man on the bike mm. again jungle just hitting him police. trying to get him to the police station mm. I'm not sure exactly what happened but somehow this has been happening reoccurring where youngsters are being kidnapped and mm. and it's important we bring these kind of stories to the <laughs> fore because we must be more vigilant in our it's community and live gone are the days where you can say yeah send your five year old go and, go and buy six, this buy this buy go bread go and meet the, can't do those that days have passed because mm. you can't keep doing that anymore it seems like it's no longer safe. Many people let their kids go on the streets to do things, to buy stuff. You hear a little child, I think the one you were talking about, a child went to get the ATM at yeah. 13 years. I know how that is. It's good to want to see your child being independent. Yeah. But the new world that we live in, we have to be more careful until God you know, saves us, or until there are proper things put in place. See, abroad, sometimes when these things happen, they have like CCTV cameras. They can say, okay, this is where the child was last seen. And this was the person that it. quickly you can trace. We In Nigeria, you <laughs> it will be this person just went across the road and no one would have seen would say that they saw your child. Mm. So on that one side, as parents, we need to do better. We need to be more protective. I'm sorry, this is the new world that we live in. But then as government. We need to make examples of the people that we cast. Exactly. They want to we need with to them. see their faces. We need to see how it ends up for them so that people can learn. Um, communal living used to be our way of protecting ourselves because um, when you cross the road, I've said this story several <laughs> times, I wanted to cross the road under the bridge. And before I could move, my mommy called me. Because somebody saw that Topo wants to cross the road, I called my mom that Topo wants to cross the road. I only called me, don't cross the road, take the bridge. You know, so it was, everybody was watching. Eh? Why are you crossing that road? Stay on this side. That's what your parents will, they just see you that. Oh, Go back into the house. Everybody was watching each other's back. But now, we don't even know our neighbor's children. Everybody's greedy so now. So that's, that's, that was mm -hmm. another check. Number three is, we used to be raised street smarts. Mm. And Papa, take me there. Ooh, we need to be, you for like taking I, us there. So we need to be street smart. Like, you understand? Uh. If you hold me, I know where to kick you. If you grab me, I know how to scream. Like, we need to, we, our, our children, children don't understand don't have street smarts. Clue on street smartness. Have clueless. Because a whole different world. I mean, <laughs> hey, God will help me. God help you know, recently, you are talking about prayer earlier. And when we were praying in the house, you know, my husband goes into all these uh, strong, strong prayers, strong team prayers. And then I just opened my eyes and said, bros, these are children. They, they don't do. have enemies <laughs> of the eyes, ancestral enemies. They don't they calm down now. Take it easy. But you see, I can understand he's Wait. trying to let them know that this world is, this, there's something in the world. Because these, these are little kids, Skabashid and they're thinking, Brown, they're just kids. Don't, don't bring them into the ancestral enemies and the demons that are chasing their father's father. Don't do that. But the truth is that we do that because you prepare, this, this man, this should have begun to understand that there's a bigger world out there mm -hmm. and there's a lot of bad things happening mm -hmm. and we need to start praying. We're living in the jungle. We're, We're living in the jungle. Children. Most of the challenges we went through, we had to go through to be the substance that we are today and they are necessary. But with everything that is happening now, I don't know how safe it is to introduce them to the streets. We can talk at home, but if you don't leave them to practice what you're saying, you will not know. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. I, I felt I was talking, I was preaching, I was teaching till my children went to the boarding house. And I was like, whoa, hold Reality. on a minute. <laughs> whoa, this, I didn't see this coming. Mm -hmm. And I brought them back. And I saw where I needed to pay mm -hmm. more attention mm -hmm. to and to work. So if we preach and teach and we still put them in that cocoon. How do we know mm -hmm. that when they go out there, will they will exist. practice, we will never know. So we do have a confirmation from the Police Public Relations Officer, Lagos State Command, the CSP, Adekunle Ajishe Butu, concerning the child who has allegedly abducted. According to them, the child's mother, Lovina Viters, was contacted, and she revealed that the child was actually taken away and put in a dispatch motorbike because the child was crying uncontrollably. And because the child is... The 10 month old child. <laughs> because the child is fond of the rider, who is a relative, a neighbor, and was crying uncontrollably, the rider, uh, she, she allowed the rider to take him along um, to go pick up because he had a job, so she allowed him to take the child to go pick up his job to pacify him. Hmm. Um, unfortunately, passers by who saw the child with the rider along Shangote <laughs> do, Aja, on set, <laughs> it became suspicious when the child was crying uncontrollably. 
mm. and saying that the child might have been stolen and then they raised an alarm and attra attracted a mob. Thank God the mob subsequently the pounced on the rider, beating him without finding out the truth. This goes back to jungle justice. Hmm. This patch rider later identified as William Stadule was said to have been rescued by the chairman of the Sunview Estate, Shongo Tedo. All right, hmm. so this hmm. is jungle justice right there. So yeah. we appreciate that the Good. community yes. identified a child, right? Crying. Crying and suspected. Now, what we, uh, what we would have preferred is that he stop it the police and then shop. direct him to the police station. Where did you get this child from? Who is mm. the mother? Mm. Then carry him. But the fact that there's a mob around mm. beating up the guy, um, the child was probably traumatized because they, they well, carry yes, the child, you know? Yes. So as much as we appreciate the attention, but there's a better way of doing it. So yes. the local government within Chango Tedu, mm. maybe with the ETA or Sa local government, whatever it is, their job therefore now is to begin to educate Kids Nigerians. Yeah. The motorbikes were going to go out <laughs> to the campaign, the motorbikes mm. associations will go around to the um, the Danfo Drivers Associations, go around to all the they're out there, so they will market to the allergies. Mm. And talk about and jungle, we, talk, speak against right. jungle and we can How reach do we them. do things? We can you know reach why them. we can? I'm sure we can reach them because we collect money from them. All Okada riders contribute money on a daily basis to the local government. Mm. So it is possible for us to push these messages because they are. And I, I, I cannot. We cannot know for a fact, but I am very sure innocent people have lost their lives oh, to yeah. jungle justice in Nigeria. Business.